So I'd like to talk to you about a study that we recently did and we published in Trends in Hearing called Social Context and Hearing Aid Adoption. There's a lot of evidence to suggest that it's really important that you engage not just a patient, but you also engage their significant others, whether that's a loved one, a, a family member, even a caretaker, uh, in the audiological rehab process because there's a number of downstream benefits from doing so. This could be uh, things such as improving hearing aid satisfaction um, and or, or increasing conversion rate if you're thinking about it from a business perspective. Uh, but having that significant other in the room, I mean, at its fundamental, you have three brains working on the problem rather than just two. Uh, so we had some suspicions that this would be a good thing to do, so uh, we conducted a study. And this was a, a pretty interesting study. We had a total of just under uh, 61,000 subjects in this study and it was done in a retail context and what we recorded was whether a patient brought a significant other to an appointment or not and then we looked at what was uh, people's rates of hearing aid adoption and we thought you know if we're if we're inviting the significant other along perhaps there would be higher uh, hearing aid adoption and that's exactly what we found on average uh, those that came with the significant other there was 13 percent higher hearing aid adoption than that group that came by themselves the really interesting and uh, somewhat counterintuitive finding was that when you looked at that benefit of bringing a significant other by degree of hearing loss, those that had a severe or profound hearing loss, there was no difference in terms of hearing aid adoption. We still think it's a great idea that they bring a significant other because there's other benefits, uh, but with respect to hearing aid adoption, there was no effect. For those that had a moderate hearing loss, we found that uh, uh, hearing aid adoption increased significantly so, greater than 10%. But what the stunning piece was, for those with mild hearing losses, hearing aid adoption increased by 96%. It almost doubled. And that's pretty stunning because historically, those with mild losses, they experience a degree of uh, ambivalence. You know, they have some push factors for wanting to do something about their hearing and uh, hearing loss, and they have a little bit of uncertainty. And we found that when you have a significant other with that person with a mild hearing loss, uh, there was much greater likelihood of uptake of hearing rehabilitation. So that was a pretty cool study. If you want to learn more about it, uh, it's an article uh, recently published in uh, Trends in Hearing. Music